Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be discussing hitting your first port. And so before we begin, guys, I do have to mention that these are some general rules. Um, your chain of command is going to issue a more specific liberty brief before you guys pull in. They'll have more specific uh, rules and stuff like that, depending on the port and conditions and all kinds of other stuffs. But these are some general hard and fast rules to follow uh, when hitting a liberty port. So... Let's get started. And so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is that if you are going to drink, drink responsibly and always have a plan. Uh, my last command had us write down Liberty plans if we were drinking, uh, which did include having a Liberty buddy with you. And for me, typically I drink inside my hotel room at the end of the day, so I wouldn't have to deal with that hassle. But for the mo more sociable, make sure you have a sober Liberty buddy with you. And again, be responsible. And so the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is that ladies and fellas of the night are off limits for a reason. Now, do do people still utilize their uh, services? <laughs> of course, but you are running the risk of getting caught by the local police and or your chain of command, not to mention STDs and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to be a prude and say don't do it, but I will say that if you decide to go down that path, do so at your own risk. And so the third thing I want to talk to you guys about is to only use approved ATMs. Now, when I was back on USS Kurtz, I did get caught in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico by one of the chiefs and almost got lit up by the whole mess for using an unapproved ATM, even though it was inside a bank. But thankfully, I talked to my own chief about the situation and he just told me to cancel my card and that was that. We were going to return back to San Diego soon at that time. So thankfully, it wasn't a big deal and I got a new card shortly after returning, but it could have been a lot worse. And so the fourth thing I want to talk to you guys about is for the best exchange rate, uh, take advantage of the onboard money exchanges run by Disbo, your dispersing officer. Now the lines will be long, but if you don't want to get screwed over by exchange rates out in town, uh, it's definitely your best bet. And so the fifth thing I want to talk to you guys about is to have a set budget so you don't blow all your money in port. Uh, usually the most I'd spend would be on my hotel room, but I know some guys who would spend all their money on drinks and uh, services. But remember, all that stuff you bought, you have to carry it back to the ship and find a place to put it away. So be reasonable about your purchases. And so the sixth thing I want to talk to you guys about is to take advantage of MWR tours. Most of the time, you won't need a Liberty Buddy with you. So if you're an introvert like myself, it's a good option if all your friends want to do something that you're not interested in or they all left without you. And plus, if you want to get some prime YouTube material, MWR tours offer great opportunities for that. A lot of my overseas life and video vids were shot thanks to MWR tours. And the seventh thing I want to talk to you guys about is if you're on duty, I'd recommend doing your laundry whenever you have time. Since most people are off the ship already, there won't be any wait lines or the wait time will be minimal. In some countries, they do have laundry services on base, so that's also an option but be sure to check availability first. And so the eighth thing I want to talk to you guys about is to adhere to the country's laws and respect their customs. In Singapore, for example, it's illegal to chew gum in public, but in Australia, it's perfectly legal. And so the ninth and final thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that you are an ambassador, not only of the US Navy, but of the American military and America as a whole. And as one of my LPOs once said, it takes 10 attaboys to get rid of one oh shit, meaning that foreign people are more aware of the negative things we as Americans do more so than the positives. So yeah, that was Hitting Your First Port 101. If you would like to receive more Navy and military related videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as hit the notification bell so you get the up to date whenever I upload a video. And with that said, this is the Andy San, signing up for now here at Andy Talks Navy Headquarters. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.